Good morning. Uh, I don't know if it's morning when you're watching this, but for all of the amazing Snake River Opportunities uh, students, uh, we're, and parents, obviously. Um, Axel, my bubber, says hi. He's, he's my hiking buddy. Uh, yet another reason, as my big reasons are always being outside and having the flexibility to be outside with our school. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you quickly about uh, our attendance policy. Um, obviously, we don't have a seat time attendance policy. Um, but there are four ways we track attendance and the goal for every student is to get all four in in one week So the first one is attending home base now as you know this year home bases are on Tuesdays at 9 and 1 in coming years That might change, but there are two main home bases um, All of your mentors are in teams now So you get to be with a big group of uh, students rather than just a small group of your mentee beauty of that also is that there's a uh, uh, study hall right after home base so you can stay and talk to all the content teachers if you need extra help that's the first point of attendance the second point of attendance is the weekly survey and a lot of you ask why we do this weekly survey and is it just a hoop to jump through but it is an important means for you to be able to communicate to your mentor and uh, myself or mrs. Franco the counselor at our school we look at your surveys and while some of them are fun um, Many of them are asking questions about how you're doing and what you need help with. It's a passive way to get help. So when we see that there's a need, we reach out. If you want to continue to build a relationship with your mentor, this is one of the ways because they see it and they respond to what you write. So that's number two. Those are pretty much required of every student every week. And then the third one is that you at least turn in one topic for evaluation a week. Now that could mean that you've done some revision on them one, but you have to be moving forward at least one topic a week to be considered present in our school. And then the last one is that you should have some contact with a mentor or teacher or an administrator in our school or some other staff member. So those are the three pieces of our attendance policy. They're pretty much, we, we track them, they show up on your progress report. And the goal there is to make sure that we stay in contact with you and that we don't lose you. Um, in this world, it's super easy to uh, kind of ghost the important people. Um, that really are here to support you. Anyway, if you have questions, reach out to me or the mentor. Thanks. Or our counselor, Mrs. Franco.